is there are some basic commodities, basic conferences, basic chapters that our particular county government is ignoring. One thing that I want to tell you for sure, if I come and tell the, uh, the top management team right now that I need a suture for, for doing a particular uh, Sicilian section to a patient. They don't understand what kind of suture, what type of suture I'm talking about. If they t I tell them that I need some particular kind of gloves, they don't actually understand what particular kind of gloves that I'm talking about. If I tell them the use of a syringe in particular, in particular department, they don't understand. And actually what I want to t tell uh, county government, it's important that you involve expertise in health in this county because one thing for sure, when, when you're writing the budget, and I actually wish to ask our, our, our county assemblies and uh, the health docket, who are you involving in writing of the budget in this particular county government if none of them is a particular uh, health expertise? Because if a particular person tells you that we need uh, 100 syringes in a month, you'll go by it because you don't understand the usage, you don't understand the meaning, you don't understand whatever is going on. So I'll actually wish to ask our county assembly, who did a very big role in passing of, most importantly, the top three positions in this county, and our county governor, who actually was part of, uh, part of it in the vetting of these people. How come they passed through the vetting process, knowing very well they are coming into a very sensitive docket that needs sensitive people? So when you talk about there's a particular issue that has happened in the hospital, the funniest thing is the top management does not understand. Like, for example, I'm a chairman of the of NNK in this county. When I tell them I'm going for a pediatric chapter conference in Mombasa, or if I'm going for a nephrology chapter in Kisumu, or I'm going for a perioperative chapter in, 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 in Machakos, or I'm going for some neuro, neurosurgical chapter, in, a, in a, a particular county, how will the top management team understand what I'm talking about, yet none of them is a health expert. Dr. Mwenye alikuwa tuti siku ya alikuwa naituwa Marare. Asa alipo ondoka haka wache mungina. Na hii katika ya rakati ilikuwa muenda wa samoja, nikatoka jibora, nikaja waka nyumbani. Saa mbili ilipofika saa tatu ifi mama na nipikia simu. Naona maansa kwa mtaibu. Nikaulisa nini mbaya? Hati sijechua, lakini taktari ya meenda. Hame muongese nini? Maachi kwa mwile. Kidogo, sijelala, tena mama ananiambe, na hui taktari ni, anayaka nini kwa hii afon. Sasa na muita, na ataa kwa chipika. Nikaambia mama, kuna nje yote tunesa vanya, haka niambia, maybe, tutafute gari nyingi, tutafute, tutafute gari, tupeleka wapi pungina. Ah, Kidogo tena akaniambia ngoja kidogo daktari amekuja. Akamuongezea maji na dipaka mkonjo akaambia ye imetosha naona umenimaliza. Ati daktari mama akaambia na unaongezea mtu maji na unaona ni kama mwili maana kwa pariti. Mama akanipigia simu akapigia wati ya kwao. Mimi nikatoka hapa saa 3 ya usiku nenda saa 4. Nikaenda paka mwaita. Kumbe watu wakao na wametangulia mafiko kwa pako wakaanza kulia daktari akaanza kwa act sasa anafanya kazi kaenda akamchukua wakasema hakuna mafuta ya kuweka ambulance wale mashemeji yangu wakatoa 1500 wakapeana ndipo sasa ambulance itoke ambulance ilipotoka sasa mimi nikawa niko mwaita ikakuja ikanipita sasa mimi mwenyewe nikapanda gari saloon nikaulisa wako namna gani wakaniambia pressure imerudi chini mshemeji yangu ananiambia kidogo kupika simu kwa bunyaka ambulance ndani akaambiwa ameongezea oxygen Mimi kufika district, ambulance ndio inatokesea. Kutokesea, ndio sasa wanaansa, wanamutoa kwa ambulance. Kidogo naona hii mkono imelala na mnai. Nikaulisa si mejango, ni kama hii mtu ayuko, hamia kufa. Waka ingia ndani, waka arakisha kupeleka ndani huko. Mimi mwenyewe nikasungua kidogo. Takatana na skendu uro. Kukimbia, nabata muka wangu hameaka dunia. We lost uh, our, our one of our members here at Kajibora Health Center who was giving birth. We know giving birth is, is a natural process that only needs assistance. But uh, what is shameful and what we don't uh, accept is that the hospital, uh, the sub-county at, uh, uh, sub hospital at Kajibora were not able to help the lady. 
Instead, they neglected the lady. County hospital, maternity is being charged. Number two, again, uh, uh, ambulance is being charged. There are no drugs. The, 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 the nurses are lazy. And when these, these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these people are reported on, uh, on, 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 to the minister, Mrs. Tanguli, and, this, and, and our chief officer, Mr. Barasa, there is no action that has been taken for the last three, uh, three months. We've lost close than, than five people. Tuluweza kusika mama ambaye alieza kuwaka akichifungua. Na tumelalamika sana, tumelalamikia viongozi wetu, lakini awezi kutusikia. That is why tumedisai tutembe barabarani mbaka cherangani. Kwa sababu awezi kutushugulikia. Tumeona ya kwamba county government imeshindwa na kasi ya LD. Eri yende kwa national government kama samani. Hili tuweze kupata dawa hatuna dawa kwa hospitali yetu na singine viongozi wetu saa ile mtu amekufa utaona tu tutapewa mitambo ili aweze kutoa sauti sasa tunalia sisi kama wamama tuko na uchungu sana tumelia sana tumelia sana kwa sababu wamama wanakufa wakati wamechifungua na hiyo si rahisi mtu akufe akichifungua alafu madaktari wakiitwa hawawezi kukimbia haraka kasi yao wametangulia tu kulete kusema lete pesa lete pesa